if you're going to audit something, again, you're thinking research. And in research, you're thinking, I need to get sufficient sample size to be statistically significant. I need to be able to do statistics and chi-squared tests and tests of, of p-values, etc., etc., etc. In audit, going back to the audit loop, you only need to check a number of things. So, if somebody wants to see how, how am I managing hypertension in my practice, and you look at the last 20 cases that came in and see did they fulfill the standards of care for hypertension. That's grand. And then, excuse me, you find that you, are, you need to improve a little bit and you make that improvement and you go back and you look at another 20. People come into the office and I say, how many cases are you going to look at? And they look at me and their eyes narrow and they say, a hundred? And I say, well, what about 10 or 20 or whatever? Oh, could I get away with that? They relax immediately. Now again, going back to what I was saying, it's all about making this easy for you. And again, it's the opposite to research. You do not need large chunks of data.